Just over 10 years ago now, I first played Minecraft Console Edition. Now, a few months prior to this, I was playing Minecraft on my Huddle, which is like a Tesco version of like an iPad here in the UK. So my Minecraft experience was pretty limited in that respect. However, I am grateful to having played on the Console Edition for so many years and actually getting to experience Minecraft and learn how Minecraft is as a game. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button because we're on an epic journey right now and you could become a part of that. But something I've been thinking about lately is I would not enjoy playing Minecraft for the first time if I played it today. Whether that's on Bedrock Edition, Java Edition or any other version out there, I still don't think I would be playing Minecraft as much as I do today, especially if I started playing on these versions that we have today. I would probably quit within like seconds, months, I, I don't know, it definitely won't be years though. Unfortunately today, Minecraft isn't really a game that new players can really get into unless they use like a third party source to help them like YouTube or the Minecraft wiki. For context, on the old console edition of Minecraft, it was perfect if you wanted to get into the game for the very first time. There was a tutorial world if you didn't know on the console edition of Minecraft and it was the very first world on that version of the game that you could like create. I mean there was literally a setting where you could like literally click play tutorial world. And the tutorial world speaks for itself really. It had so many features in that little world. In particular whenever a new update happened there was a section in that world for the new update and it was like a bit of a, a help and guide on how to use some of the items there it literally showed you for example if it was like a redstone contraption how to build it and what it did it explained it perfectly as well there was also some fun elements in the tutorial world you could like search for music discs i think there was every single music disc in that world that you could like collect as sort of like a quest or a challenge and in some tutorial worlds there were nods to content creators out there for example Stampy's Love Garden was in a tutorial world at one point and it was just a perfect environment to be in as a starter. Not only was the tutorial world a big thing on the console edition of Minecraft there was also these little hints as well that popped up and I'm not talking about what it is like on Java Edition today I think today there's like these little hints that say open this to craft a crafting table for example whereas back then it actually told you what each button did it actually told you yeah you need to do this to access this for example and it always explained it in greater depth like like for example here is a starter chest this starter chest has like a select of items of which you can use going forward in your survival world it was a great way to learn something whereas if i'm learning something today and i read open E for crafting menu. I might not know what that means, for example. I might not know what to do or how to craft something. I understand there's like recipes in the game now, which is like cool because console edition never had that. But console edition never needed to have recipes because it basically did it for you, if that makes sense. I mean, you could literally just select the item and it would just create it for you. Like the crafting menu was just such an easy environment. You were forced into doing this, but it was actually a great way to do it. Whereas Java Edition, it doesn't really force you to use the recipe. In fact, if I was a new player, I probably wouldn't even know what that recipe even meant. So I'd just like stay far away from it, for example. And I really do think that's where Minecraft's going wrong today, especially if you're a new player. It doesn't really help you out a lot. And like I mentioned before, you do have to like refer to third party sources, for example. And there's some great websites out there, for example, like the wiki. Uh, YouTube itself, there's probably loads of tutorials out there on how to do certain things and I still find myself today referring back to the wiki or the like tutorials on YouTube. But it's such a shame there's not really a tutorial world today just because there's so many things in Minecraft that if I started today it would feel like a ride pretty much. It'd feel like a roller coaster starting the game and me when it comes to roller coasters I bottle it as soon as I see one. I turn away and I will never ever do it in my life. And that's probably how a lot of people feel when it comes to Minecraft today. They see a lot of things in their world. They either get bored because there's just too many things to do and there's too many things to understand. Or they probably don't even load up a single player world anymore because the survival aspect of Minecraft is just too much and there's nothing really there to help you. There's no hint when you access like a new biome that says this is a plains biome. Here you'll find villages etc. It, was, it would be nice if there was something there like here's a mangrove biome. Here you'll find frogs etc. You know. Something to actually help new users out. The console edition also had featured games. 
Kind of like how Bedrock has featured servers now, but it was literally just one game mode. Like, they had Glide and Battle, which just made PvP and actually using your wings a lot more easier to learn and understand. You also had, like, records that loads of people tried to beat. You could Those leaderboards, you could compete with your friends. And unfortunately, Java Edition doesn't really have anything like this. In fact, if you use, like, the default client of Minecraft, you don't actually get any servers at all. That's why I really do recommend using, like, a PvP client. I mean, I think Lunar Client has, like, featured servers. Now, those servers might be quite try-hardy just because they're featured with, like, a PvP client. But I wish, like, Minecraft did it so you could actually have, like, featured servers. Or maybe, like, featured tutorial servers. Like, one server, one game type of thing, like, 4J Studios did it, like, a battle or a hunger games type of game. Just to get people used to playing multiplayer as well. Because that even, even playing multiplayer today can be a bit hard. I mean, especially if you're, like, like years behind other users. I mean, if I was going on Hypixel today for the very first time, the stuff that Hypixel makes that make it easier for like new users to understand, but I, 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 think, well, I feel like it would be a marathon type of thing. There's too much to battle at, really, and there's too much to conquer when it comes to playing Minecraft, whether that's single player or multiplayer. And I really do hope one day Minecraft actually realises that and, you know, makes a nice little world, a tutorial world. I don't know if they can actually call it a tutorial world because that's been there and done. But a starter world, for example, a nice world where you can actually learn to understand the game itself. When it comes to texture packs as well, Full J Studios like created these like mashup packs that actually... They, they had a world for that texture pack or mashup pack and they actually made it so... It explained what this mashup pack or texture pack or collab was. Like, I think they did, like, a couple of Star Wars ones. They made, like, loads of Star Wars skins. They made loads of Star Wars mashup packs for that texture pack. Fair enough, this video has pretty much looked at the negative side of Minecraft as a new player. However, there are some positive things out there, and you know what? The game isn't totally bad for new players at all. I mean, loading up the game, it is very easy and simple to use. I mean, it's very easy to, like, select your world nowadays compared to how it used to be back in the day. It's also very easy to select your skin and settings and everything, really, when you first come to play the game. To make it a little bit more advanced, if we're talking about crossplay, it is a bit challenging getting used to either Java Edition if you're a Bedrock Edition player, or again, Bedrock if you're a Java Edition player. I know a lot of people out there really don't like the crossplay at the minute because they either don't like Bedrock or they don't like Java Edition. Again, I don't think Minecraft can actually do anything about that. That's pretty much subjective and it's down to like personal preference but you know in terms of actual crossplay minecraft made it really simple and you know relatively easy to understand i know there isn't crossplay on java edition yet but bedrock edition crossplay and it's really fun it's really fun getting to actually play with people that you've never really played with before uh, especially your friends who probably didn't have like an xbox at a time but have like pocket edition or windows 10 edition whatever it's called now and it was just a great way to learn and understand minecraft in that respect i'll be interested to hear what people think about this in the comment section down below subjectively speaking do you think minecraft is a hard game to learn today or do you think it's easier if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like on the video and i'll see you next time